Good morning, guys. Thank you for staying tuned to our channels. We're back today to give you some good actions. Previously, we've been dealing with how to turn grabs into locks. So we are coming with another edition of how to turn grabs into locks. This time, we're going to see different grabbing postures of uh, positions then to we'll see how we we'll turn it into locks and with some other actions accompanying it but i would like to quickly remind our first timers as you get into as you log into our channels please do subscribe and hit the bell and leave your comments then for our esteemed subscribers we keep saying stay tuned thank you and thank you so much keep keeping on with us now let's get straight to the first action of the day, okay? Now we're talking about how to take convert grab into lock. Now first of all, grab my hands now, with two hands this time around. We've dealt with one hand grab and convert it. So we want to deal with two hands grab now. Now it might seem difficult but like I said, everything has to do with principles. When you know the principles that is that accompanies it, it makes it easy. All right. Now we'll go first to this side. I turn and I go. Can you see that? His wrist is locked now. I can apply anything. Mm. You can even sweep down from here. But most importantly, you've converted that grab to the lock. It's at your mercy. Any, 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 uh, uh, let's say, re retraction from him, or he's trying to restrict, trying to, uh, you know, hold himself back. Once you do this, it sends more shock and more lock. Yeah. That, okay? So, that's it. So, we'll take it again. We're going to make it slower again. For you to see clearly. Now, look at this. Sink yourself in and turn here. Ah. It's as simple as that. No matter how hard the grab is, mm, mm, anything you can do, but mostly the lock. Alright? Okay. Now let's let's take it a bit swift, a bit swift, all right. Still on the first one, a bit swift. See that? Go, pam, pam, boom. The lock is successful, all right? Okay. That's one. Okay. Now let's let's look at a different pattern of conversion. Converting the grab into lock, but the same kind of grip. Now grab again. Good. Now this is going to come that I don't you won't think it's only possible from this angle. It's also possible from this angle. Ah. Now we see that. It's also possible from this angle. You can take anything you want to take from here. You can free this hand, lock there, strike here, and this time you are even locking both hands together. You can sweep down from here. Anything possible. But the lock is successful. Alright? Okay. Now you can establish the fact now that it has, you can go both, both sides. Now let's take that again. On this side, See how it goes slowly. One. You see that? One. With force. You push yourself as if you want to go down and then come up with force. Then with that, you turn. You see that? And you can sweep down. You can launch here. You can strike there. Anyhow you want to. You can turn the grab from this hand to that hand. It's possible. Okay, now let's take it swiftly. Grab again. Now the action goes one and two. Can you see that? See that? With the swift move, you can even throw him off. I had to grab him with a lock to keep him firm. So I can free one hand and I'm still on the lock with this hand. Pam! Pam! And pam! And do all that. But the lock is still effective. Can you see that? I can go with him to anywhere with the lock. Alright? 
the waist is in tension. Okay. Um, let's do we do that one more time. The swift action. Let's take the swift action again. So that you will be more satisfied. Because one and two. See that? That's it. It's locked here. Just pull my Boom! Boom! Pa! The lock is most important. Right? Okay. If there's any possible question, I don't see any possible question to ask there because everything is just clear. Just follow the principles that I've showed. Then you have it done neatly. Okay? Now let's go to another one. See another move, another way of uh, converting the weight, but with the same same kind of grab. Okay? Let's see. Hold, your, hold it as firm as you want to. Now this one, the principle about this, it has it has a pattern of which your hand that is grabbed should be placed for it to be successful. Now once you are able to do this first, you turn the hand from here, here. Turn it from here. The grab is as hard as how, whatever it will be, but you should be able to pop. And once you do this, ah, it's just here. You see that? Ah, boom! Boom! I, I always remind us, I said anything that has to do with these locks, you might see it as if they are not, they are nothing, but they are very diverse. If you see his reaction, you will know that is not finding it funny though i'm trying to be very careful about it because any 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 little mistake you make by being so harsh on it will cause his wrist to be dislocated so you have to be careful so that you continue the practice because you're trying to teach so you're not actually uh, destroying so you teach but while you're teaching you have to be careful because you know the actions you're taking are very diversity so watch again we go I'm going to be a little bit soft mild so that the soil's reaction it was very painful so now first you pick learn this that the first thing is turn your hand in to make it slant like this from the here turn it in to make it slant and then lock up and turn simple as that then you convert this is where you're looking. So you can strike your punch. You can strike your punch. You can take your kick down. See that? See that? All right. Okay. Um, take one more. Right? That may be the last for today, but not the least. But uh, let's see how it goes. That's one. There's going to be so much controversies, but I will know the questions that you'll be having in mind and I'll touch it. Now, grab it. Because it seems, it looks impossible, but it's very possible once you uh, apply the principle. Now, this one goes this way. You first of all go by grabbing, holding the hand there as if you want to struggle to pull the hand out. But that's not what you want to do. You sink yourself in as you're coming out, you're coming out up with this the twist boom boom the twist is still there and to go this way all right mm. Mm. The, the lock is there all right okay let's take that one more before i come up with what you might have in mind okay grab it as hard as you can now place the hand here as if you want to pull the hand out. Then sink yourself down. Then come up with that. And follow immediately. Follow immediately. And if you want to turn it while the lock is in there. Take him around. Okay? Alright. Okay, now let's assume. Somebody out there might be asking. Is, is it that simple? Is it that simple? Is it that possible? Okay, let's assume this person is uh, 
very hefty. The person grabbing is very hefty. And the grab is so much hard that it seems impossible for you to free. Now you have two ways. Now when you that is being grabbed, first of all, you must, first of all, that's why you place your hand here. Now the placing of your hand here is not to pull, is to measure, to know where your thumb, if your thumb can cross to this point and your hand flatten here, that will affect the turning, the locking. That's what you're doing it for. Now, if you place the hand here and you realize your hand, the lock you are trying to place here is not firm, strong enough to do the actual twisting, you convert to this one. This one is a bit, a bit more easier. Just sink your hand, your fingers here, place the thumb out here, sink down and go. See that? That's another way. Pa, pa. Mm. Anything can go with that. But the lock is still there. And if he tries to cool himself to restrict, he's in trouble. So he will always be at your mercy. Once the lock is firm like this, the person is always at your mercy. All right? Okay? Now, I hope with that I've been able to answer one of the most controversial questions that you might be having in mind to ask. Ah, what if this person is as big? I have shown it. You've seen it clearly. Let me just run it through again. Grab it, accept. If the person you feel your hand, the person is too firm, it's too hefty, and you can't place your hand here, and you realize that your hand from here cannot give you exactly what you want, then you turn. This one is easier. Place your fingers in here, and then your thumb out here. Sink as you as if you want to sink down just like in the first one, then come up first where forcefully pat all right. Try that out, but like I said, be always careful. Anything that has to do with the lock is always very devastating on the joint. So we're going to leave you here with this few uh, moves. We'll come your way next time. Stay tuned. And uh, for our first timers, always subscribe, hit the bell, and then uh, leave your comment. For those that are our esteemed subscribers, we'll always say we'll give you some uploads for staying tuned to our channels, always being there for us. Please do, and we appreciate you so much. Thank you, and thank you. Till we come your way next time. Bye for now.